My friends, good morning. In my last video, I promised to drive you around town to different neighborhoods here on the north shore of Lake Chapala. But there's a problem. My van's not running this week. We're going to do some of that. I'm looking forward to it. But in the meantime, uh, I'm going to give you one of those videos that I call potpourri. It's just uh, random clips of uh, things I do here and there. Uh, this time I'm going to call it slices of my life. <laughs> Enjoy. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Well, I'm here for uh, the next part of a procedure for an implant. Uh, they did the first part last September and I've grown so much bone that they have to take some of it off. Morning friends. What's going on today? 16, maybe 17 years ago, I and Juan's father, Jesus, laid all of this stone. When we bought the house, this was grass and dirt. We laid all of this stone. Uh, in the States, I think we call this flagstone. Here we call it Piedras Laja. And uh, one portion over here began to sink. And so the edge of the stone could catch your foot, maybe even cut it, some of it's sharp. Yesterday, Juan dug this all out. And we're going to uh, put in some concrete there to resupport it there, level it all up and just one of those maintenance repairs. Uh, 16, 17 years, it's held up pretty well. Buenos dias, Juan. Yeah, Thierry. Was it Arena Rio? Si. Arena de Rio. One giant jigsaw puzzle with heavy pieces. This is before the grout was put in. One did a good job on this. It's all nice and flat and smooth. The grout uh, doesn't match perfectly, but it'll weather. And uh, we used the same grout color we used on the old stuff. It's just after all these years, that's bleached out. You won't notice the difference in a year or so. In the meantime, nice and smooth on the feet. I was editing this segment and I couldn't believe when I was looking at the editing how dusty and dirty it looked. So I came out and hosed it off this morning so you could get a a better look at how nice it looks. And you can really see when it's wet how different the new grout looks. But it'll weather. See all those bugs flying around out there? There can be clouds of them this time of year. We call them bobos. So, por qué la máscara, de, máscara and the lentes? Muchos bobos. Bobos? Ajá. Mucho, mucho bobos. Yeah. Sí, mi, rápido. En mi boca, en mi nariz, en mis ojos. Oh, no. Who's a proper art, eh? Ah, Jerry. Quiero YouTube? Sí, en YouTube. Well, ¿dónde es el lentes? Huh? <laughs> Put up a lot of powder bubbles. Mucho bubbles. Okay. Oh, caramba, me, mis ojos, mi nariz, mi boca. Oh, mucho bubble. Another day, another job. 
check this out. I have pressure washed all of this cement and uh, all of this and all of this and the entire sidewalk to the carport and the whole carport, which is big enough for three or four cars. It's a lot of pressure washing, but like I said, it's something I enjoy. And I bought a new pressure washer. 2,000 PSI, it's working just fine. As long as I can get enough water to it. The city doesn't pump all day long, so I can only do this when the city's pumping, but. Just that easy. Central Magno. Indian food, butter chicken, curry chicken, deep fried onion something or other, flatbread, pita, saffron rice. How do you like it? It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Sometimes that means different things. <laughs> I like it a lot. But that brown spot right there, whoo, that gets right in your mouth. That is spicy. So my friend Jose from Orange County, California reminded me in a comment this morning of a day we spent following a motorcycle club off through the, I think, El Tigre Mountains through um, Concepcion de Buenos Aires and his hometown, Tuxcueca. And Lynn picked a lot of wildflowers that day. This was many years ago. And put them all on this board and I framed it. And it's been hanging there for all these years. And it reminds us of that wonderful day. Let's see if I can go over here and ignite. Oh, the light's gonna shine on it no matter what. Anyway, yeah, it was a wonderful day. Thanks for jogging my memory, Jose. So I decided to make a map of where we went that day. And it turns out there's a lot more than just one Tuxcoica. So now I'm thinking that Jose lived on the south shore of Lake Chapala, not up in the mountains. But anyway, it did remind me of a wonderful day. Hi friends. I don't know if I ever took you all up on the roof before. The lake, it's way out there. Over the years, it's been as high as about uh, 10 feet from my seawall there. That's, that's a wall that goes down about six feet, seven feet, not counting the balustrades on the top, but from the ground level, down about six, seven feet. And the water's been all the way up there, uh, almost. What's on my mind today? I'm gonna pick some avocados. Look at that beauty. And um, I'm doing this because when they drop, they break. And then of course, uh, the squirrels and the skunks and the possums, they enjoy them, but I'm trying to get some for myself that are nice.
Another nice one. The tree's getting too big. Good ones fell down last night. Look down there. Huge big ones, but when they hit the steps, they break. Getting ready to paint that uh, chair and table set. I don't remember if in any of my videos I've ever actually taken you up on the very top of my house. Um, Mexicans call this place a mirador. I have never fully developed it yet since I built the living room, which we're above the living room now. Those are all of my uh, solar pads for heating the pool. We disconnected them last year when we redid the roof up here. So this is my mirador and uh, the walls built up so that it's four feet so you feel comfortable when you're standing by it. You don't feel like you're gonna fall off. And this is the tower. You see the tower from inside the living room. Can I tell the dad joke again? That's the mount for my security camera, which I have done working on it. We are uh, 26 feet above the ground. And, uh, Oh, the dad joke. Lynn, why'd you build that tower so big? To hold Jerry's ego. Anyway, one day, a project is to put a roof on this and make it a place to barbecue and it's all wired for uh, power and plumbing and stuff. Uh, hmm. Looks like there was a wasp nest that fell down. Actually, I think uh, I filmed doing that last year. Well, one, two, three, four more steps. And way up on top. Cupola. Tanaco, Dish Network, a great view. Can't wait for the rains to start so the hills will turn green in a week after they start. Hills. Did I call them hills? Let's call them mountains. That one over there is 8,000. I'm interjecting this into the video as I'm editing because I noticed Juan painted the cupola, repainted it a couple of weeks ago. And as I'm editing this video, I notice this ball on top of that pipe. <laughs> when he was painting the cupola, he took it off it never got put back up there. There we go. The world is as it should be. Uh, I think uh, we're getting the palms trimmed tomorrow. They are really a mess. I have to do it about three times a year. Buenas tardes. Se alberca, es todo bien? He cleans the pool. <clears throat> There's a couple of crosses up there and you can hike up there. It's a religious ceremony place. It's, uh, I've been up there It's uh, and measured it with my uh, altimeter. It was 8,200 feet. Mount Garcia, which is behind the palm there, 
Mont Garcia over there, it's over 15,000 feet. And, oh no, excuse me, 9,000 feet. And behind it, you yeah, can't see it because the palm tree's in the way, but you can just barely see the peak of the volcano of fire. Um, Mount Kalima. On a clear day, it's kind of hazy today. You can't see it, but it's right there. So when it erupts, you see the column go up there. We've seen it a couple of times over the years. I actually have a picture of my old Southwind motorhome. Let's see if I can dig that out on the um, autopista down there by Mount Kalima when it was erupting. Well, got to put those uh, solar heaters back together one of these days. The pipes go up the wall. Well, it takes the intake and it goes up the wall over there and comes out over there on the other side. And then they all lay up here on the roof. Juan just painted these steps a couple of days ago. It was getting slightly rusty. Well, only two avocados, but uh, I'll wrap those and make some guacamole in a couple of days. We wrap them in newspaper to uh, ripen them because when you pick them off the tree like this, they're hard as a rock. I was only able to get reach two of them. And we're a little late. We should have been doing this a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Um, that's a really nice one. Yeah. That one's okay, but a little smaller. Anyway, wrap them in newspaper so they get right, right? All right. You don't think the squirrel's going to come get them out of the newspaper? He's watching. <laughs> that squirrel, he's always watching. However, he's afraid of the armadillo, right? There's another thing I've been working on for almost 60 years. And finally, last December, we made some real progress. We got a great granddaughter. Well, good news. Uh, the mechanic came this morning, determined that uh, it's the fuel pump inside of the gas tank that is the problem with the van. So he's coming back to take it away to his shop and uh, we'll uh, maybe get to Sorry, I'm looking at a spider. And he's looking at me. <clears throat> where were we? Maybe we'll get the van back. Why do I use the van instead of the car to drive you around town? Well, because I have a much better dash cam camera in the van than I do in the car. But we should have it back by next week. We'll go for a ride around town. Thanks for being here today. Oh, one more thing. I filmed myself making homemade egg noodles. Leave me a comment if you want to see that. I think it's like eight minutes before I uh, edit it, so it'll be a little bit shorter. But uh, leave me a comment. We'll see how many yeses and how many noes I get. It's okay to say no. <laughs> Leave me a comment. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind.